Hi everyone, welcome to EA Game On's podcast and today I'm with my wife Tony. Hello! And we're going back to the early 2000s to talk about those toys from back in the day and uh, I have a beautiful website in front of us on this beautiful laptop, my uh, laptop, my wife's laptop and uh, we starting with the first one a major big one for kids or teenagers it was the Razor scooters do you remember the Razor scooters yes they were dangerous they were fun it's and like, dangerous the bottom part where your feet go can like whip around and could like hit your shins and ankles and yes yeah, so this is like basically like back in the day people had like skateboard all the time, they were skateboarding everywhere and now this new thing uh, came up and it's like you got a freaking handle that you can control uh, where you uh, where you go and it's basically like a little platform with two wheels uh, on the bottom of it and you use one foot to like propel yourself uh, with, the, with the ground and the other foot is on the platform and you just like and fly and can do some tricks because that thing like that platform spin around and hit your ankles yeah you <laughs> hit your ankles it's kind of like a skateboard with a handlebar yeah pretty much because you pretty much do the same foot movement yeah and you can go pretty fast too with that yeah razor scooters i remember i had one when i was a, a bit it, yeah i had one when i was a kid i think or one of my buddy i think had had one i think my nieces had one like you get the the whole squad on your razor scooter <laughs> <laughs> so badass i'm coming <laughs> i'm gonna beat you up me and my gang of scooters razor scooters <laughs> i'm gonna cut you <laughs> oh jeez no we weren't that gangster <laughs> okay so that was uh yeah one of the Instead of using your bike, just use the Razor scooters or your rollerblade or skateboard. That's the, that's the shit right there. That's the shit. So let's go to the next toy. And the next to toy is Bratz doll. Apparently it was coming, co came out in 2001 and I hate those dolls. Like big head, skinny body. It's like all the girls are like, oh, they all love those dolls and they want to be like those dolls, like super skinny at the waist and with skinny legs, everything skinny except for the head. I don't know why the head is like giant. It's like brain maniac here. <laughs> <laughs> like who wants a big old head? It's hard to fit a hat when you have a big old head like this. I did like Barbie better. Yeah. Than Brett's dolls and brats they're brats yeah the name <laughs> the name wasn't Names, and the clothing on a lot of them too was a lot different than barbie oh yeah yeah so yeah a yeah. couple of people like parents didn't even want their daughters to have brats dolls yeah and like i said here distinguished by their oversized heads and, and pin thin bodies <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The most popular plastic figurines to land on the toy shelves since Barbie. Yeah. Huh. In fact, the 10-inch fashion dolls bore such as such a striking resemblance to their blonde-haired predecessor that Mattel Mattel waged an unsuccessful lawsuit against Bratz Maker, MGA Entertainment, for stealing its design. Huh. Well, good to know. So yeah, no, not a big fan of that doll. If I have a daughter uh, one day and uh, she wants to do play they? with dolls, uh, definitely not Bratz. Do they even sell Bratz dolls anymore? Yeah, they still. Yeah. I don't. I saw some in, in Toys R Us or something. I don't see them. Yeah. Maybe because I'm in the baby slash baby boy <laughs> section. Yeah, but no, that's a big uh, zero for me. That kind of toy. The next one, it's. From the 2000, 2002 to 2003, Beyblade was a big thing, I know, for boys. Uh, it's basically those uh, little uh, plastic round thing that you pull on a, on, a, on a string and that 
goes and fly off and spin on the on the floor on a table whatever you use yeah. and you try to knock off the other uh, your uh, other op op opponent oh really it was like a game yeah it was a game and you just like phew, smash the other uh, beyblade uh, it was kind of cool but uh, I never really played with it and, it yeah. was, and they, they also had their uh, own TV show uh, too. Really? Yeah. I had no idea league. about that. I've yeah. seen them before and I I think I might have held one, but I had no idea what to do with it. Yeah. But I've definitely seen them, heard of them, maybe saw the commercial even. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was really popular uh, back then during that era. But yeah. Yeah. I prefer, uh, I don't know, Pogs. <laughs> 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 that was better than Beyblade. <laughs> yeah. Have you played Beyblade? Nope. Never. Uh, one of my... No. Way later, I think I saw someone just playing with that, but... Yeah. I never uh, never played Beyblade before, so... That was something. The next toy is the Robo Sapiens. Robo Sapiens, that's a the classic robot uh, in 2004. Uh, it's like a short, chubby, white and black robot that it reminds looks like me of a human, like a human. And what's that movie? You got like two arms and two legs. And like here, they said uh, it's a part human, part robot. Uh, the Ro Robo Sapien has been described by the inv inventor Mark Tilden as having the body of George Jet Jetson and the brain of Fred Flint Flintstone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so basically it's not that smart. <laughs> it's big though. What's that big movie? Big old arms. Makes what movie? Where he's like a white fluffy robot and he has... Um, oh, Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah. But the Big Hero 6 one is more like a balloon or something, but this is more... Uh, Robotic, I guess, and more plastic and shit. Uh, yeah, no, I I think I've seen that somewhere, but I never had one uh, when I was a kid. I've never seen it before. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, that was that was kind of popular back then, 2004. Yeah. And the next toy. Okay, before we talk about this one, we're going now <laughs> in the consoles from uh, the 2000s and first first one I'll say it's the uh, well one of the first one we got the PlayStation 2 that came out in uh, 2000 I think it was March uh, 4th PlayStation 2 was the sequel of uh, the first PlayStation console hold on what you know the exact date that the systems came out some of them yeah <laughs> Nerd alert! Okay. <laughs> okay, so PlayStation 2. Uh, I never own uh, a PlayStation 2 <laughs> myself, but some of my friends have PlayStation 2, and I always went to uh, to their place to play uh, some games on the PlayStation 2. So it was uh, quite fun. They had some good game like Twisted Metal. I think that's one that just popped up, popped out in my head. Uh, but good. Uh, Good game on the PlayStation 2, and another one uh, came out during that time was the GameCube. Do you know the date for that one? GameCube was 2001. Uh, in North America, I think it was in October, October something or November. Wow. <laughs> so 2001. I remember that that because uh, that was one of the consoles I had for Christmas in 2001. And I was so like crazy about the console because the console before that was the Nintendo 64. And now with the GameCube, we had like better graphics for the Nintendo. And I was excited. The first game that was there on the, on the box was like Luigi Mansion. I think that came with the uh, console. And Luigi Mansion, the first one when you look at it, you're like, oh man, that looks so, so great. And they have so many other great games like Super Smash Bro Brothers uh, Melee. Uh, they had like Super Mario Sunshine, all those classics. 
GameCube classics that I one day hopefully uh, the Nintendo Switch had a open his virtual console and put some GameCube games in the Nintendo Switch. That'll be awesome, but we'll see if that happened. Uh, so GameCube. Oh, another thing about the GameCube. I remember me and my best friend March. Uh, we were playing at my place. Uh, the GameCube, and we were playing the game uh, Eternal Darkness, and holy shit, <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> Eternal Darkness was like, damn, that game is nuts. And I remember the first time I saw that game was on TV. It was like a, a little uh, preview a trailer, I think, or maybe someone was talking about it. Uh, I don't re quite remember, but I saw this and I was like, holy crap and i talk about this game to my mom and even my mom was like mind blown about that game what's what's going on so basically that game is like a horror action game like puzzle too uh you're basically that girl that goes in the mansion and i think it's like the mansion from her, her uh great grandfather or someone in, the, in her family, in, your, in, in her past family. And that mansion is like crazy. Like the paintings are bleeding and everything is like fucked in that mansion. And so she basically take a book, she reads the book and in that book they explain like what happened like way back in the day, there's something like alien-ish or mystical like in that mansion. That's some magical shit. But the main thing about that game that was crazy, it was when you play uh, one of the character, your character have a, a mental bar, like mental energy bar. And if that's, if, if that's empty, your character goes nuts, like insane, crazy. So you play the game and all of a sudden, all of a sudden the TV like turns black. So you're like, the heck? Like you think like someone like turn off the TV, so you're like you're looking for the remote, and like try to uh, turn it back on, but nothing until you realize that the black screen and is turn and the screen turns back on, and when the the screen turns back on, there's a girl like little kid girl screaming like, ah! <laughs> and you're like what the? <laughs> this is scared like it's so random. So, and now after that you can continue to play and sometimes your TV will like mute itself. You know, like back in the day on you know, the big CRT TV, when you press the mute, you see like the actual like mute letters showing up on the TV. Well, same thing it does in the, in the game, but your TV is not actually mute. It's just the game that creates that. So it's like a mind fuck of <laughs> YouTube while you're playing. And sometimes the volume will like slowly go down and go up out of nowhere it's like it's just messing up with your TV and you're like what the heck is going on and even in that game sometimes you can see like oh geez there's like five zombies coming at, at you and you're trying like to kill them but you can't kill them for whatever reason and they just come at you and like they attack you and they eat you and everything like just disappear out of nowhere and your character was just hallucinating like those zombies the zombies weren't real from the beginning so you just messed up with your head basically in that game. But this I will remember in my whole life, I think. It was me and Mark playing in my bedroom and I was moving the girl around in the mansion and one of the, the room was the, uh, the bathroom. We opened the door and I'm like, oh. just by looking at the bathroom, you're like, okay, something's gonna happen there. It's like, so sketchy and it's so like creepy the toilet the the bath there the there, toilet is creepy well no, everything <laughs> just the bathroom in general is creepy but in 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 all the movies that you in all the scary movies when you see a bathtub you know there's something in the bathtub that's gonna scare you right <laughs> so i'm like okay mark fuck it let's let's go in the let's see uh Let's go in the bathroom and see what's going on there. And of course, I walk in the bathroom. Nothing's going. Nothing happened yet. Go close to the bathtub though, and bam! A freaking half-dead girl just popping out of the bathtub. Just like and the shining. Like, ah! And me and Mark are like 
turning our heads away from the TV and like, what the fuck? <laughs> we were so scared. But you knew it was coming. Us. I know, but it's like, I didn't really know that it was coming. I was, a, I was just like assuming, oh, something's gonna happen, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. And I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> so, GameCube, that was classic for me. Uh, Another uh, console that came out during that same uh, time was the original Xbox. It was a big old black square console, uh, rectangle, whatever. And I remember those remo remote uh, controller remotes are like so awkward because they're like so big. So you were like this, basically. Uh, you were holding like a brick, basically, in your hands. And but they had some cool games like. Halo. I played a shit out of Halo, the first one. Uh, we had some LAN parties in uh, one of my friend's uh, basement. Just playing like with two console and two CRT TV and just, just get at it. Get the Mountain Dew going. The Doritos were set for the night. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was awesome. And after those uh, console, a little bit after in 2005, we got the Xbox 360. So Xbox 360, it came out, came out after the original Xbox. Xbox 360 was a little bit better, better graphics. Uh, the games were, were good. And I owned that console for a while too. So I got some good memories with the Xbox 360. Like for example, I was, I was playing uh, Unreal Championship with Mark again. <laughs> so oh, we were playing in, uh, in co-op, yeah, we were playing co-op and we were playing against like bots and something happened like I was, I was hardcore in, in that game and I was killing a bunch, of, a bunch of people until like one of them like killed me and right after he killed me I was like, oh no! And right after I said, oh no, the computer itself responded right after, like, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> that was another, like, mind fuck too. <laughs> like, what the heck? So, I have some great times and memories with the uh, Xbox 360 too. And also they have a other Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3 that just came out on Xbox 360. And... A big, big, big one that came out in 2006 was the Nintendo Wii. Everybody, when they saw this at first, they were like, what the heck is that? The remotes are like, you have one in each hand, you get like more motion control, you're playing like sports like baseball or tennis or bowling. golf, bowling, and you have to do the actual movement. So, and they, they nailed the marketing of this, like it was for like families and fa family playing together, like little cool games with mo motion control. But they also had like some really good games like for hard, hard, more hardcore gamers, I guess, for like all the like the Super Smash uh, Brothers and Zelda and Mario, stuff like this. Super Mario Galaxy, that was one of the best Mario 2 uh, that they did. They didn't make two of them on the, on the Wii, so the Wii was really good, like Nintendo were like going up in sales and it was amazing. Do you remember playing uh, Nintendo Wii? I do, yep. Yeah, you had one, right? Yep, and my sister and her family had one and they went in some sort of contest and they won a trip out west. Damn. To Whistler, I think, yeah. Like a news team came to their house or something and they won a trip through playing the Wii. So they were pretty into the Wii. Yeah. But we had a Wii at my parents' house. And I remember we had like the balance board thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And do some yoga and shit. Yeah. On the balance like board. The, or the, or the, the steps. working out one. Yep. Yeah. And the bowling. And. I can't really remember. I know it was fun though. <laughs> don't remember. I was 
I was drunk all the time now. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I blacked out the whole uh, 2006 uh, until 2010. <laughs> I, I had happened. just graduated high school. Oh, yeah, that's good. 2005. <laughs> yeah, so... And then... Yeah, no, the, it was a fun, fun console, though. Yeah, Nintendo Wii was, was awesome. Uh, Nintendo, they really had a mine gold uh, with that console. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, so many different great memories with uh, the Wii, that's for sure. And I remember the first time I played the Wii, uh, the Wii wasn't even out yet. Uh, in Montreal, they had uh kind of like a festival i guess and it was called uh, arcadia and i think they stopped doing that nowadays but back in the day it was really big and arcadia basically brings like new uh, new games that was coming out soon or new uh consoles for example the nintendo wii uh, we were able to do a try the nintendo wii and it was even it wasn't even out yet so that was kind of cool so i tried like the Wii Sports, that was the, the game that was coming with the Nintendo Wii console. So that was awesome, like baseball, tennis, like, like we said. And uh, also I was able to try the new Zelda on the Nintendo Wii. And it was uh, Twilight Princess back then, yeah. Twilight Princess that was coming out on the Wii and also it came out on the GameCube. But yeah, uh, I will always remember that. I went to Arcadia with, of course, Mark again. <laughs> <laughs> and you two are connected at the hip. Yeah, hip hip. We're uh, twin brothers, or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, that was that was great. And after the Nintendo Wii, so yeah, so yeah, so, so it was the Wii. And after the Nintendo Wii, well, it was the Wii U, but that came out after 2010. It was in 2012, I think and Wii U was kind of a flop it failed on so many levels for like example marketing and stuff uh, the console sales were like really really low and down and stayed down for forever and so Nintendo pretty much failed with the Wii U but after that they got up again with the Nintendo Switch and now Nintendo Switch is just going like crazy retarded sales from across the board they're breaking rec records of sales so that's awesome and my third day xbox uh 360 and oh and playstation 3 that was there too isn't there like an xbox like one or before. something yeah xbox one that came out after the xbox 360 yeah so that's still the case now and after playstation 3 playstation 4 came out too there's a playstation 4 Yep. Wow, you, you can really tell that I keep up 4. on my video game consoles. So many PlayStations <laughs> and Nintendo consoles. They've been uh, here forever. Well, since the 90s. So yeah, I just don't keep you. up on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, I'm not much of a gamer. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. Okay, so after that, in 2007, well, before the 2007, we had the normal iPod. The iPod, it was just basic, basically. Uh, you, you were just able to put like, not a lot of songs, but a bunch of them. And like just to hit play or pause or forward or uh, go reverse uh, the song. Now right? this was a really big deal to go from the disc player, where we always had to carry around like a CD. Yeah. To well, the after, iPod after having... The disc, after the disc player, we had the MP3 player, though. That was way smaller, too. I, whenever I started, I didn't go from, like, oh, disc yeah. player to MP3 to... Okay. I just had, like, the choice of MP3 or iPod. Oh, okay. So I never really used an MP3, MP3 player. player. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't know that they came out before the iPod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, MP3 player and iPod, well, iPod was made by uh, Apple, right? Apple. So they started to make those iPods and uh, they had so many different versions of iPods, Jesus. Big yeah. ones and now they're like small, they can clip onto your clothing. Yeah, and yeah. and b before it was a big square and a, Jeez, a taller, huge. taller uh, rectangle with a little screen too that you can scroll uh, I think the down. original first one just had like the wheel. Yeah, it was like just for the, the wheel. volume, you had to turn yeah. the wheel and yeah. had like forward and back and play. Yeah, and... that was it, yeah. 
But after that, they had a little screen at the top. Yeah. But it wasn't a touch screen. It was just like you, you go up and down with the buttons to go down the, the screen or up the screen. Yeah. And select whatever songs. It was just, a, I guess, a normal LCD screen. Uh, but after all those iPods, in 2007, they came out with iPod, iPod Touch. And that was like, whoa, minute. <laughs> Jesus iPod Touch, like you get like, it's basically like your iPhone now, but back in the day it was just like, you had like different like applications on your uh, iPod and you were able to do more than just listening to music. Yeah, like a, let's say a calendar or a calculator or uh, notes that you can uh, type in and a little, or a little video player, uh, media player, whatever. So you had a bunch of different apps that you can do uh, on your iPod. Did you have a iPod Touch for, uh, when you were young? I don't think. Yeah, but I, I do never remember. Never owned an Apple thing. I think the only Apple uh, thing that I owned was like an iPad. And it was it? I had like um, like the ones we were talking about before, like the older school ones. Yeah. But um, I remember a lot of people like because like before I think the iPod Touch came out only one could play music and the other one people played games on so everyone carried around two. Oh yeah a lot of people carried around like their ipod like their music and then their like game. their music player and then their game thing that they could like text or play games on so everyone yeah. always <laughs> carried around yeah. two devices yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no i never on a ipod ipod touch me uh, either yeah so but yeah it was it was great back then. It was something really like new. And next toy. Oh my gosh! Zuzu pets. My niece, my younger niece, Zuzu. was obsessed with those. You can get like sleeping bags. You can get tracks. You can get buses. You can get. And I think they like they move and they make like like zoom zoom like they make different noises. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Yeah, my niece really liked those. I remember those. This is the pits, yeah. Like, what the heck is that? I don't remember those at all. I do. <laughs> that was from 2009, though, so... I think they're like little hamsters. Okay. But I think some of them were dressed up as, like, different animals. Not like dressed up, but... Okay. Yeah. Well, that, here, they say here, Cleaner and less expensive than your average <laughs> hamster. Battery-operated Zuzu Pets. Which sold for less than ten dollars. Jeez. Really? We're we're the savior of parents looking to save a buck during the midst midst of the re recession. <laughs> the fu the furry toy created such hysteria, however, that some eBay enthusiasts were willing to pay fifty dollars or more to take home the robotic animal. Jesus Christ. Huh. So uh, you got like nine different characters with names like Squeak. Mr. Squiggles <laughs> and Num Nums. Jeez, they have the, they have some good names <laughs> for Zuzu pets. So I guess that was a big thing back then. I guess so. I remember them. Yeah. And in 2010, the Squink Squinkies. The Squink something. Squinkies. <laughs> what the heck is that? Do you remember that? No. So, Squinkies basically, it's like... <laughs> it looks uh, like a baby a in a little, bubble. <laughs> yeah, a little baby inside of a plastic <laughs> ball. Like... You what know what, it heck? reminds me of something that came out of like a vending machine for 25 cents. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But I'm sure it was more expensive than 25 cents. <laughs> how much it was? <laughs> oh, $9.99. $10 for a, a pack little... Of pack of 16 could be... Oh, a pack, a pack of, of 16. 16. Wow. 16 of little baby in a ball <laughs> you know what that reminds me if you replace the baby by uh, a monkey and you put the monkey in the ball that reminds me of a video game called uh, super monkey balls <laughs> and that game was so funny and it was really fun though to play it was basically like that monkey inside of, of a ball and you don't control the the monkey you control the whole board 
and it's basically uh, the board it's basically oh, like a big board it? and you tilt it like up and oh, down or cool. left to right and the <laughs> monkey in a ball just roll down and you have to follow that this maze basically that reminds me of a challenge on survivor <laughs> yeah you have, to follow, you have to follow the maze and uh you need to like stay on on the track because if you fell off like if you fall off the the board you you're gonna lose you lose a life or whatever so you have to go to the main goal basically and it's basically like a mini pot with a monkey in a ball that you control a big board <laughs> sounds so, neat yeah no it was really fun uh, and they have they made a lot of games uh, on uh, with that too so but yeah but i don't remember oh. uh, screen keys though what um, Bill Nicholas came up with the idea for Squinkies after studying the success of vending machine toys in Japan. Mm. So it is kind of like vending machine toys. Yeah. Well, Japan, they have some crazy, weird vending uh, machine toys. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's some weird shit. Oh, Walmart sold out for a week of Squinkies. Squinkies. <laughs> Don't squink too hard. Because you're going to squink out. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all the, the toys that we have on this uh, beautiful website for uh, 2000. Uh, do you remember some toys you, you played back then uh, in the early 2000? Um, no, because no. during that time I was like 16, 17, 18. So well, you were a teenager, you were playing with some sort of toys in 2000. I was 10 years old. <laughs> so you were 13. So from 13 to like... 18? Yeah. I didn't really play with toys when I was a teenager. Well... I don't know. Uh, you just go play outside and play with a stick? Yeah. Go beat the dog with a stick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Barbie was a big thing. Yeah. Barbie. Oh, and little people. You said you always play with little, little... Yeah, but not when I was a teenager. No, okay. That <laughs> ended when I was like... <laughs> 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 Mainly Barbie and... And Barbie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Meiji's, of course... Uh, oh, I think I played... Um, what's the handheld video game system? The purple one? Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color, yeah. I think I did that. Uh, I think the Game Boy Color, though, was in the 90s. Oh. Came out in the 90s. See, I don't know. <laughs> but after but after Game Boy Color, we had the Game Boy... Game Boy uh, Advance. Oh, game Boy Advance. Game Boy SP. What uh, about the Nintendo DS? Yeah, Nintendo DS. That's the one that flipped up. Yeah. 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 That was not, yeah, that was fun. I, I never owned uh, the original Nintendo DS, but one of my friend, uh, I think Mark too, had the Nintendo <laughs> DS. And I was playing with uh, with his, uh, yeah, his Game Boy. And uh, I had a Game Boy Advance though. And I think I had a Game Boy SP later. Yeah. Uh, Game Boy Advance was, was nice. I had some cool games on that too. Jeez, you should have kept all your uh, systems. You could have made a museum. I know. Of stuff nowadays. But back in the day, they didn't have any money, so you had to, uh, if you want a new console, you had to sell your old mm -hmm. console to get a new one. That's how, uh, that's how it was. But I wish that I was able to keep all of them uh, back then, but You could nope. make like a giant holder Museum collection. display, yeah. Nintendo Put display. them under glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like those expensive like shoes or... Yeah, jewelry. like the Nintendo store in New York. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome, by the way. Yeah. If you're in New York right now, go see the Nintendo uh, shop or Nintendo World, whatever they call it. Uh, it's lots of fun. You'll see some nice nice stuff there. I recommend it to anyone that goes over there. So, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's amazing. So, yeah. Uh, Toys that I play in the early 2000, except, well, play of course all the, well, consoles, yeah, consoles and Game Boys. Um, yeah, I try to remember. See, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Putting you on the spot is like... Well, I, uh, uh, 
I guess I was playing on myself a lot. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Teenager, that's when you start, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hormones through the roof. <laughs> uh, I played uh, spin the bottle. Did you? Yeah. Well, you were kissing the girl since you were a little boy. <laughs> spin the bottle. Uh, yeah, just spin it and hopefully you don't uh, have the ugly uh, girl. <laughs> Because <laughs> you have to go in the closet for however long it was. Um, seven minutes in heaven. Seven minutes? Seven, really? I don't know. Is it seven minutes in heaven? I think that's what was in a couple of movies I've seen before. Yeah. What does it mean though? Seven minutes in the, in the heaven. Duh. You're in the closet for seven minutes. Like and if you're, if you're with your crush, you're in heaven. Fingering or what is it? Eric. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hands? Or just mouth? Kissing! <laughs> My goodness! Well, nowadays I'm sure it's like... Whatever. <laughs> whatever you can do in seven minutes, you can do. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> now it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh... Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Just hug first. <laughs> Just give a big hug for seven minutes. <laughs> and after that, you can go to the other base. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just kiss on the cheek, mouth to mouth, tongue maybe after. <laughs> so, but keep it there. <laughs> Don't go too far or too crazy at that age. Jesus, bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that was one game or a tag. Barbecue tag. Barbecue. Is it barbecue? Uh, barbecue on you? No, no. It, it barbecue tag. I think it was barbecue. That if you tag someone, you kiss the the person that you tag. What is with you and kissing? <laughs> oh, maybe it's a French thing. <laughs> Just kiss everyone. <laughs> kiss anybody. <laughs> I hope you don't kiss everyone now. Gee whiz. <laughs> Even uh, guys. Hey, you kiss on the no. That's from France. <laughs> Don't do that in Quebec. <laughs> kiss, uh, kiss guys on the cheeks? No, no, no. We don't do that. Jeez, no. <laughs> we just kiss girls on the cheeks. Or on the mouth, whatever. <laughs> well, no. If, if, you, if, you're, if you have a girlfriend, kiss her. I think you're digging yourself in a hole. You better stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's a stranger, you just kiss on the cheeks like a girl. <laughs> But if it's your girlfriend, you can kiss on the mouth because whatever is your girlfriend. <laughs> Anybody can kiss, whatever. <laughs> Big dick swinging! Oh my god! <laughs> oh jeez. Jeez. What, what, what other games? What kind of games do you play? <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Sock a bop or no? <laughs> that was my news, I think. <laughs> Soccer puncher. I think you need to go to bed. <laughs> okay, another thing. Why do they call it a uh, wife beater? The white freaking. I don't know. Thing. Because uh, the guys were that were wearing this, they just they they just beat their wife all the time. So that's why they call it wife beater. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, what the heck? Um, yeah, the, those years were, uh, were good because uh, I had my first dance. Because I was in grade six for my first dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awkward as fuck. I'm going to tell you that. Because, uh, well, at first, like, you know, how it goes, like, you get. You're in a corner with the boys and you got girls over there and the boys on the other side and then they're like, okay, who uh, who am I going to dance with now? Uh, so, trying to find a girl and you find one and uh, now uh, you don't really know how to dance properly because it's your first time to dance with a girl or your first time to dance with a boy. So, if you take a slow dance, I guess, it's the easiest one you can take at first. Slow dance, you just like have to hold uh, the other girl and just like dance slowly from side to side. But of course, there's some 
uh, one other thing I was dancing with a girl, another girl came and uh, started to do the sandwich. Now just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine grade six? <laughs> Maybe now, but no. <laughs> All I can think about is how you and I no, met. No. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the other girl was like telling me like, go eat, put your hands like lower, like grab her, her bum, grab her ass. <laughs> like, In grade six? Yeah. And, uh, and... Did you do it? I don't remember. I don't remember if I if I did it, but I remember that there was a teacher, somebody that was like walking. A teacher told you to do that? No, no, not a teacher. It was another student, a girl student. <laughs> and uh, can but, you imagine? <laughs> that's not the, that's not the main teacher. That's like a substitute teacher. He's like, oh, come on, man, you have to grab it. Come on, and grab her butthole. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh Jesus! Grade okay. six. What the fuck? Uh, oh. No, calm down. <laughs> Not with your hormones. <laughs> oh dear. But no, I remember. Yeah, I was uh, dancing with that girl, whatever. And the other girl's like, "Grab her ass! Come on!" And uh, I was like, "Whatever." And, but I, I remember there's uh, like a teacher, or whatever, guy walking around and uh, making sure that people's people weren't too close to uh, from each other while they dance. So they had to like, oh, give me your arm, you know, like you have to touch the shoulders instead, I think, of the back <laughs> or something. You have like a, a dis distance between uh, your body and her body. It's like super awkward freaking things. Like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no, no. But, uh, fuck that shit, come closer or whatever, but we're just kids, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why were we talking about that? Um, because you said <laughs> the 2000s, my first dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, was that your first dance in the, those years? I'm assuming. I was so. in grade nine in 2001. So I think I had first dances in junior high, like grade seven or eight. Oh, okay. So that would have been like the late 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like 2000 or 1999, maybe? And of course, a prom dance. That wasn't in 2000. Oh, prom was 2005 yeah. for me. Yeah. That was not good. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was all right. I didn't have a, a girl with me, <laughs> but I wasn't the only one too. I had a bunch of losers together on the table, except for like one or two that had like a girlfriend or something. <laughs> 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 with a bunch of losers, just <laughs> dancing alone. I went with, at the time, my boyfriend, but really it was just like more of a friendship. Yeah. I'd say. But it's funny, it's funny oh, how- that's that sucks. For you it was a, uh, friendship but for the guy he thought he was getting laid but nope friend zone <laughs> friend zone <laughs> so no you're not touching anything you're, yeah. you're just you're just a friend <laughs> I, I really like you as a friend <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about like you know problems and <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how like or the, sorry go how the prom dresses change over time because when i went to prom what was in was like big poofy cinderella dresses yeah. and as time went on now it's like red carpet long gowns with like no backs and like all these like fancy really super fancy dresses so like my cinderella dress is like so like in the past now because now it's like long beautiful gowns don't and even stuff. talk about it okay and it's funny because like every junior high school dance like around here yeah they're all short dresses sleeveless and then the prom dresses are long red carpet one gowns. day it's gonna be like nothing almost oh my gosh bikini dress <laughs> Slut alert! If we have a daughter, alert. that won't be her. Slut alert! That won't be her. Nope. If we have a daughter. Fishnet. Like oh my gosh. Stripper style. 
miniskirt. <laughs> Hopefully they have a dress code at their school. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the boys is a uh, wife beater. I'm just kidding. <laughs> dirty. Oh. Like dirty uh, Joe. Dirty Joe. Uh, well, Joe movie. Dirt? Do Joe Dirty. Yeah. Dirty, dirty Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe Dirt with his mullet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Dirt. <laughs> Remember that movie? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think they made a second was, one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Later. What is that actor's name? He's a comedian. He's, a, he's in a lot of. Uh, Jack. He's, a, he's in a lot of movie with Ad, 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 Adam Sandler. Yeah. And uh, those comedians. Yeah. I want to say David Spade. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He has like That's long right. curly or long blonde hair. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, that's the 2000 for you. Yeah. In a nutshell. A lot of it I blocked out, so it's it's hard to remember. I'm, I'm getting old now. <laughs> I'm getting old now. I'm getting old. I'm just 30. I'm 30 years old. 31. Oh, jeez, 31 years old now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need my I need my cane. My cane to walk now. Jeez. Hey, you still say I'm 19. I'm grumpy all the time. <laughs> I have my meds. <laughs> hey, Bart. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> uh, talking about Bart and The Simpsons, it's been there forever and still keep going. Yeah. Jeez. And I'm pretty sure every celebrity has been on The Simpsons. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder what the world's going to do when The Simpsons finally comes to an end. Jeez. We were never allowed to watch The Simpsons growing up. What? Yeah. My uncle was crazy about the simpsons really he was a huge huge fan every time i was like my uh on my mom's side of the family like uh really my, my the my uncle that looks like a mime <laughs> <laughs> or act like a mime <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, he was watching The Simpsons. Every time I went there uh, at night, Simpsons was on the TV. <laughs> like... <laughs> it was like, you know, the oh. shit. Crust to the clown. Bart. <laughs> Marge. <laughs> Marge. Go get my <laughs> something. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So many... So many things going on. I think maybe the Family Guy was in 2000. Yeah. I watched Family, Family Guy, Guy a bit when I was older. Oh, man. That was a crazy show, too. But, uh... Yeah, no. It was fun tonight. Thank you, Tony, to be with me uh, for this podcast. Anytime. And uh, thank you guys for listening. And keep listening to my podcast. Uh, later, I might do a podcast, just sound, but also with a video. Uh, so I'll be posted the pod. I'm posting the po podcast now on SoundCloud and also on <laughs> YouTube. So later, I'll put some video in uh, on YouTube for uh, the podcast. And also, I have some big project coming in. Uh, I'm gonna. Tr um, I'm. Can I fucking talk? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have an account on Twitch and I'll be streaming, live streaming me. You can watch me playing games. Is it beautiful? Some, like you, can, you can watch a crazy French guy playing games <laughs> on the Xbox or whatever console I'm gonna play with. And uh, that's gonna be exciting if you want, if you want me to... If you want... If you want to watch me play freaking Fortnite and get destroyed, or maybe I'm going to be good at it, I don't know yet, because I never played that freaking game, but apparently it's, it's crazy and fun. So I'm going to be on Twitch. Uh, also, I'm going to make some new videos on YouTube and just a bunch of reviews. And yeah, and I'm going to do more live stream too, maybe on, on Facebook, 
YouTube. We'll see. We'll see how the how life goes. Where where you can just take my breath away. I don't know. And uh, so that is all for this podcast. Thank you for listening. And stay tuned for more shit coming at you. And, and remember. Remember. Keep playing. Keep hard. playing hard. <laughs>